happen. It's up to them. Go ahead. You, 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 you sharing, it's up to them to receive, not to receive. Because the Bible said, by the time Jesus comes, everybody will have opportunity to hear the word of God. You know, and I dwell on that most of the time because nobody will have the opportunity to say, oh, I didn't hear the word of God. Oh, I was dead before Jesus came. Abraham and all Isaac and Jacob, they were here be before Jesus, they, they died before Jesus came. And yet God still used them and God still served them because God spoke to their spirit. We have created and we have given the spirit and mind to do good and to do bad. So that's how God is going to judge us. When you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's bonus. It's like you, you have the guardians. Don't go here. Don't turn here. Don't do this. Don't do that. I saw a man um, Thursday. I was so busy Thursday. I saw your messages and I said I was going to call you. But I didn't have the opportunity to call you. I took this lady that I take care of somewhere. And I saw a man and I was talking to. And the moment I saw that man, I saw humility. But I told him, I said, you know what? The moment I saw you, I saw humbleness. He was like, wow, you saw humbleness? I said, yes. And he told me the dream that he had that he had a dream that he was in somewhere else and all pastors were sitting down, they were talking like having fun. And in the dream, he saw Pastor Deboye come and standing and no one wants to get up for him to sit down. But he got up and said, Baba, you come sit over here. And he said, Pastor Deboye put um, his hand upon him and told him from now on you should have the spirit of humility and I was like glory to God glory to God so all those things kind of goes along based on what you say if God will teach you if you be obedient, you will hear what God says go and what God says don't go. Do and not what do because it's not everything that is good in our eyes that is pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. You know, I got up the other day. I was wearing this uh, tank tab that I got up from the bed with and I wanted to go into my closet. All of a sudden, I hear, I am holy, be you holy. Hey, I was looking at my chest. I was looking at my arm. I said, you know what? Well, you're right. I'm, let me go ahead and put something on. <laughs> you know, early in the morning, you know, if I didn't hear that word, I would think, even though I'm not naked, what I'm coming in a closet with is okay. But the moment I hear that, I understood that, hey, I can't go in there like that. So I, I have to do something. So that just for me here and there. What I'm praying that I will be able to do more is to, if I say I'm going to come, I need to come. Like I used to be when I was home, you know, I was spending so much time. You know, now I'm examining myself. I am in the faith because I'm working and I'm not spending time like I should, even though when I said I'm going to come and I just sit here before I know it, I fall asleep. But during our every day, my journey, I pray. I thank God. I pray in the spirit, you know, and I can see things and I can hear things. But sometimes because of distractions, it, it kind of, you know, it, it, it kind of disorganized or something like that. And, I, and I'm praying that I'll be able to still um, have that time to 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 fall down in love to be that like little kid because when I when I feel the presence of God and when I feel the love of God my heart is so grateful and it's like I'm a little baby I don't know what to do with myself <laughs> you know 
to knowing that the ambler of God is upon me, to knowing that I'm alive. I mean, it's, 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 it's so much. So I, I tell God every day, please, let me have a, a grateful heart. Let me have a heart of gratitude. If I have nothing, do not take this away from me. Let me always think and see and remember everything that you have done. Let me always remember where you took me from. Let me never, ever forget what Christ has, has done for me. Let me never, ever forget where I was standing before Jesus Christ came. It has always been, been me because I can see my life now and I can see my life then. The, I'm a, 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 you know, I'm a totally different person. If I was bad, I don't want to be bad anymore. But I'm praying that I can be more, um, I don't know whether to say good, but better. You know, better in the word of God and humble at the same time, not going around because of knowing the word, you rub people's face with the word. <laughs> you know, so I pray the Lord will help me. Amen. 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 Praise God. Praise mm -hmm. God. Praise God. Yeah.